I'm going to pack one, pick one, the Demonic Tutor, and try and wheel the crop rotation. It might not come back because it is the only green card in the pack. Usually crop rotation wheels, but not necessarily here, huh? But if it doesn't wheel, I mean, Demonic Tutor is also a tutor, right? Oh, the Chonker's tip. Right, right, right. Because the Dark Depths token was like the chonkiest chonker in the cube. You're, you're correct, thank you. A lot of okay picks in that pack. It was a pretty good looking pack, huh? Tracks in what what? So now that Reliquary is the most on brand card. I'm gonna take the Wooded Foothills to try and wheel the knight. Knight wheels a lot. Appropriately. And we can end up in some nice junk colors. Excavator, maybe. That a Ren here, right? My wheel that Zernorm. Has anyone ever put Shadow Spear in a Dark Depths token? Is that a is that a facetious question? We had dueling Dark Depths tokens earlier this season. They both had um, so spears on them. So we had like Dark Depths tokens trading in combat. It was pretty wild. Look at a Horizon Canopy and Birds of Paradise. I think I'm going to take the Birds here. Birds is the turbo part of the Turbo Depths. Love it. Yeah, very fitting. Hmm. Do y'all think somebody's AFK? I felt like the first uh, couple of packs didn't take that long. Maybe someone just taking a long tank. Got a hard decision. You've learned how to spot the AFK. Is it like looking and seeing who's got the the biggest stack of boosties up in front of them? <laughs> hmm. Not to throw them under the bus or anything. <laughs> wow, none of these cards are very dark depthy, are they? I guess we can take Nissa and just cut green. Urborg could play well with the Dark Depths combo. Letting Dark Depths itself tap for mana. But there's a Skull Clamp and a Crater Hoof here. Skull Clamp's a pretty good draw engine. I feel like it's probably more important than the Urborg. Yeah, Hexmage got cut. It's just Depths and Stage now. Well, I'm still hoping for that Knight of the Reliquary to wheel, so I'm going to take Lingering Souls here. Because that card will play well with the clamp. I'll end up junk like I was planning. Yeah, that's the interesting question, right? Like, we Dark Depths, but not Thespian Stage. How are, how are we going to get there? What kind of infinite mana shenanigans are we going to employ? I wonder if the White Remand is actually the ideal there. Is Kavu good just as board presence? The the two drop? Yeah, I mean it's it's very often like a two minute four four and stuff. There's a lot of tri lands in the queue that people can tutor up. So it's a two minute four four, two minute five five, a solid amount of time, and then it loots and it's good. It's a good card. So the crop rotation did not wheel. Hopefully whoever grabbed it was just cutting green. Hmm. Correct. The knight didn't wheel. And that, that pack had like a couple of other green cards. I think there's just multiple green drafters here. Hmm. I do have Zero Norb Excavator still. First pick was Demonic Tutor, yeah. Awkward. I guess we're taking an off-color mox. 
No depths, no stage so far. Yeah, I'd feel better if those cards came back at three, for sure. I'd feel more like our lane was open. It seems like if someone's snapping up crop rotation in Nether Reliquary, they're also looking for depths combo. Usually that stuff's kind of open. Yeah, that would make sense here. Looking at Noble Hierarch and Eska's Chariot. All these sorts of plowshares here. I think the Birds is clampable. Swords is really good, though. Short guy's kind of fucking nuts. I'm gonna take the swords. Once upon a time is like real card. Mother Runes is cute. Protect uh, Dark Depths token from uh, Swords of Plowshares and the like. Hmm. Just a Gotha Shrine. Yeah. Well, this Paris headquarters is fetchable with Wooded Foothills. I think I'd rather have, like a the good duel. Well, Wasteland isn't a Dark Depths combo, but it is a land that synergizes with Excavator. I like the Vindicate a lot. I'm going to take the Wasteland, though. feel better having something that's land matters -y here. I like the Rex Sage is clampable, but I'm going to take the, the P-Wave. card's been fucking me up. Not a bad ending deck. You thought exploration was turbo depths? Yeah, sort of. Usually exploration um, goes dry within a couple of turns. Unless you build your deck in a very particular way. Fastbond, on the other hand. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Nuke MR. Thanks for 33 months. In Legacy, yeah, where you have like Life from the Loam and 40 lands in your deck. I do sometimes, Shadow. I usually end up regretting it, though. They're kind of fun every once in a while, but then I have people asking me, like, why I'm not doing one when I'm not, not in the mood to do one. They're much worse for streaming. Because they have, like, a set start time, and then there's, like, a set deck building afterwards, and you just have to commit to multi-queuing all day. Very timely, time-intensive. So I jam up sometimes. Sometimes it's fun to play for slightly higher stakes. But it's like really awkward to try and do stip drafts in between. And stip drafts are also pretty fun. Banabase is looking good. All we're missing is the Dark Depths. And potentially Fast Bond. Well, there's Fast Bond. We certainly have the turbo half of the turbo depths covered, huh? Fast Bond Excavator and Zern Orb can also gain infinite life. Not a bad backup combo if we actually don't get the dark depths. Because the Demonic Tutor actually gets all those pieces, whereas Crop Rotation would not have. We can also do the Fast Bond Wasteland Excavator thing. The opponent's got a lot of duels to target. Well, that's true. If we get Dark Depths, if we get Dark Depths but do not have Thespian Stage, that combo does produce infinite mana to make our own 2020. That's a good point. The turboiest of Turbo Depths. Kind of like Renegade Rally. Eh? Crudu's toughness too, so we can't find Excavator for me. Yeah, let's take Rallyer here to get back Fetch or Wastern, Horizon Canopy. Well, Primetime gets the combo, if we do get the combo. It's just a bit above curve for how I think of Turbo Depths. Temple Garden here, maybe. Mm, come on. Come on. Oh, that Witherbloom command comes back, huh? Command, Dark Depths Command. At least the Reclaimer can toot our Wasteland, huh? Let's 
We need like three ish more playables. That should be pretty doable. Doable. It is a sweet one aim. When you get two for one in, with Buy It and Legacy, it's always such a big gut punch. Pretty good fixer, this Timeless Dragon. Uh, I think we have one more pack to boom. One more pack where we might see a Dark Depths. All right, now we have a little bit, right? A couple more. I almost want to throw some Chonker in here to be Dark, De Dark Depths-like. Dark Depths-esque. <laughs> Just cast it off a Nissa or something. Oh, no. I goofed anyway. Fair enough. Hmm. Sunfall could technically make a 2020. Very unlikely, but it could. Well, we didn't get there on Dark Depths, but if Dark Depths was opened, we can take some comfort in knowing that the person that was trying to draft it also didn't get a lot of the cards they wanted. And then sometimes the, the card in question just isn't opened. Well, that's just part of doing stips. Part of doing the stipperuskies. What other deck would want in Dark Depths? I mean, there, again, there's a crop rotation in another real query that got scooped up, right? So that person might have had a Dark Depths that we just never saw, hypothetically. You want your money back? It wasn't even your stip. <laughs> No refunds. Hmm. Fine, Chardless Rhino. You can have Dragon Lord Freya's money back. They're giving out free lemons, free life lemons. Mana base is not looking bad. Could have been even better, hum. I got that command bank. Oh, ship it up. Hey, Dragon Lord, thanks for giving a sub to Shardless Rhino. Congrats, Rhino. Hey, congrats on the new job, Dragon Lord. Very cool. All right, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. I'm gonna go get some more water because I'm uh, I need that too. And I'm gonna come back. We're gonna play some depthless steps. Mm, I hope we pop off with that Zern Orb combo. Hey, Drinker of Sorrow, thanks for 90 months. Hua. All right. We got cuts to make, friends. We got cuts to make. Sunfall, probably a sideboard card, huh? My Skull Clamp deck. I like running the Reclaimer. It makes me feel kind of depths ish Just a couple of Kataruskis. Safekeeper's been played in Dark Depth style strats before, too. Oh, she went up. Rony 318. It's the sub thing's about 59 months. Hey, I'm actually level one. How's it going? How's your stream? We're jamming some vintage cube. As usual. As is my huge. We're y'all playing vintage. I feel like I need more green sources than this. This is like seven plus once upon a time. And I think I don't actually need the Swamp at all. We're only splashing three black cards. The Wooded Foothills can't get me black. But the Timeless Dragon can. I think that's plenty. And then for white here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think we can even go lower.
Of course, depending on your, your source, <laughs> he might have been an actual demon. <laughs> Animated, too. That is Chewers' as joint roller, and that is something that everybody agrees on. <laughs> he had a massive donger. The important things. Song donations are indeed on. That's semantics, J-Dub. The difference between like a sect and a cult or whatever. Like what's the actual number of people you need? Like, a sect also doesn't have to be a lot of people, right? Yeah, a sect can refer, refer to any organization that breaks away from a larger one to follow a different set of rules and principles. According to Wikipedia, the best source of them all. Hey, Cody, thanks for the $5 donation. Don't like ramping them, but it's a thing to do. Yeah, not surprised by the spell pierce. If you play the wins first, then they can't spell pierce it profitably, but they might still do it, and then you just decide whether to play the Hero Blade Holder or not that turn. And um, you still run into days. You'd rather have the wins days than the Hero, right? Yeah, that's your own take, though, J-Dub. Some editorializing. I think I'm going to go get a Skull Clamp. Let's eat on this. We did not find the Dark Depths combo. We tried mightily. We didn't even see the stage. It was weird because it might not have just not have been opened, but we had a couple of hints that somebody else was trying for it too. There was a crop rotation that didn't wheel. We took a demonic tutor over him. But we do have infinite life, infinite mana with fast bond. If we combine those pieces. I gotta edit the, the stip title. Just say turbo. <laughs> Step turbo. This turned up tutored up time warp. Okay. Not sure if I should clamp the hero before serving. I think we can just clamp the tokens afterwards, right? They might trade off the tokens now. I guess they're keeping the tokens around because they want to have more value in play when they time warp. Get some damage out of it. Oh, wow. We, uh... Did not get a land. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't even want to land that bad. Oh, yeah, Dabu. I got that boomer energy. If we draw on green black, mill them for the Wither Bloom command. Yeah, that would have been hilarious. Like, nice mystical tutor. Let's see what Cody wants to listen to. Thanks to the five bucks, Cody. They did not play the warp. And then it's a pre combat's more damage, but I was worried about like a cryptic.
Fair enough. I guess I just uh, wasn't meant to hit my land drop this turn. Who needs lands anyway? Not this guy. Lands are for uh, chickens and posers and chicken posers. Not for cool guys like me. They're snapcasting back the Mystical Tutor for Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I imagine they time warp first, right? Yeah, the first mystical found time warp, and then this one found Wheel of Fortune. So I guess they were just warping to try and hit another land drop. Yeah. Well, that's infinite life if we get to untap. I need to try one with Brain Freeze. That'd be a fun way to die after I like almost played that Eldrazi. Parallax Wave just gives me lethal, huh? I should probably draw into that. Is there a reason to activate Reclaimer just to pull that one last dead draw out of the deck? They aren't dead already, are they? Cool. Oh, if we get Horizon Canopy there, it's a little bit cleaner. But I don't think I can actually whiff. I appreciate it, Taboo. Such restraint. A legend among chatters. Yeah, between the uh, the draw two from the mother on the mother clamping the mother runes and the draw two on the hierarch, we like for sure had it. Once you clear their board, Hero Blade Hold by itself is seven. So we knew it was uh, for sure Z's. We didn't see a target for Lauren, so I'm just going to bring in Spellbinder. We certainly achieved the turbo, yeah. How do y'all feel about keeping this on the draw? Let's do it, why not? We didn't see like a ton of removal out of them last game. And even if they kill the birds, like we could still just hit, right? Yes, Mark, that's exactly how I'd put it. Well said. Uh-oh. Black Lotus is never a good sign. Sahili. Okay. Turn two wedding announcement, anybody?
today's crazy. Sorry you've been having a crazy one. Or, uh, <laughs> if that's a good thing, congratulations. Crazy can be good. Usually it's not, but... My day's been solid. Woke up, had some um, some beef noodles for breakfast. Watched a couple of episodes of Shogun, which I really enjoyed. I actually very recently got the old Shogun show on uh, on DVD. I meant to give it a watch, and now they're just like making a new one. So I'm like, okay, well, fine, I'll <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll watch the new shit. But yeah, it's been solid. Oh shit, what up? Hey JD Toss, things in 53 months. Congrats on the wedding. Why, thank you. What do y'all think the most romantic place to propose is? It's gotta be McDonald's, right? Staff plus tap, tap staff this turn. We can do that later, right? Oh, they're high titan. The most romantic place to propose is mid-coitus. <laughs> yeah, like dig the ring out and everything. Cemetery after a funeral. Well, that's what reminds... I mean, you're, you're reminded by your own mortality. That's when you look over and you're like, babe. Clearly, we're not getting any younger. The Music Fest Porta Potty. That's an idea. That's an idea. Maybe when it's, like, really hot out, too. Hey, Jay Wiz, thanks for the sob. Thanks for 48 months. The four years. Where have you met? Yeah, that could be good or it could be bad. I could definitely see that working for some couples. Hmm. They don't just don't seem like they have a ton of removal, right? In regards to mother runes. Yeah, right. We met at a strip club. We met at McDonald's. <laughs> A way to test the vibes for a place to propose is to sneak some uh, some cheap engagement rings, like some plastic rings, into people's champagne at the establishment in question, and then see how people receive it. Just give you a little bit of a heads up. It doesn't mean that like everybody's going to receive it well there, you know, but it's like it's a data point. What sort of McDonald's does Wisconsin have? I mean, we have the regular kind. We also have Culver's. Someone getting to propose to at a Culver's would be the most Wisconsin shit of all time. There's some people that fucking love Culver's. Hell yeah, Slayers. What uh what Ashland gels are? Put the ring on a large cheese curd, amazing. Hey Dakmore, thanks for the sub, thanks for the hundred and eight months. Ho oh, hum, just another month of subscribing to Caleb. Hell yeah, Dakmore. hundred and eight months is so many months. Is it the most months? It feels like it might be the most months. It's all the months. Oh cool, Jazzar. Yeah, bird watching is a good excuse. Good excuse to have a camera handy. Don't hate that. There's a Culver's 10 minutes away from you. Is it worth a shot? Oh yeah, it's worth a shot. I like their frozen yogurt. I always get the the raspberry. Is 
Zero birds were seen that day. <laughs> could move the bloom hit a flipped Jace? I think it could. Hmm. I don't hate it, but right now the Jace is just up ticking. I guess Time Warp could be not obnoxious. It's got me on the spell Pierce anyway. Fair enough. You think Culver's is like a Dairy Queen that costs more? No, 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 no. Way larger menu than a Dairy Queen. And a higher quality product. But it's possible that the fat content is higher. It's possible. <laughs> Dairy Queen does have curds. They're not as good. Yeah, they sell butter burgers. So they're like buttering the buns before they like grill them. Correct. Dairy Queen's curds do taste exactly like Moz sticks. Dairy Queen does not have curds in Texas. Oh, interesting. Yeah, maybe one of those those slight differences. For example, um, the subway in um, around the Chicago area. The subway is actually. They have a uh, Giardinera. Let's get, clear the Sahili hum. It's been doing a lot. And the subways in the, the rest of the states do not. It's just like a topping. The dragon got shrunk by Jace, so it's a 4 6 instead of a 6 6. Ah, Flash Flyer, nice. So they'll get to keep both their walkers here. God damn it, Taboo. For five guys price, might as well sit down at Red Robin. Yeah, I've gotten I've had more indigestion issues at Red Robin than than five guys though. You're right that the price point is comparable, which is ridiculous. Or like Applebee's or whatever. Most of those most of those like just heating up a frozen dinner diner places have like been worse on my on my guts than just actual fast food. Actual diner tends to do just fine. Those expensive chain diners, not for me. Is Five Guys fast food? Oh yeah. It does not take them long to make you a burger. Not the most exciting swords I've ever cast. We're getting cryptic tapped after that. God damn it. Judging something based on its fast content is misleading. That's true. We need fat. We need fat to survive. <laughs> it's it's good for us. <laughs> and salt, that's important too. And carbs. A balanced diet? I feel like a balanced diet is overrated. I think you mostly need the fat and the salt. 
every time I'm watching that that uh, that al- that alone show that I like, that survival show, they're always talking about how they can't get enough fat and salt and stuff. It seems it seems really important. Bring back the wooded foothills. Yeah, I guess I could have. The food triangle of fat, salt, and sugar. Yes. Cholesterol. Isn't cholesterol a byproduct of getting enough fat in your diet? I'm not one of them fancy nutrition scientists, but I think that's it. Wow, this was not a great... <laughs> this was not a great um, redraw, hum. Could have been one new, new extra card if I'd put that foothills. God, we cleared through so many fucking servo tokens. Let's paint them all again. <laughs> so my uh, my sister has a PhD in nutrition, which gives me no qualifications whatsoever. It's fun to bring up. Lauren is getting low on time. I don't I don't know if they can play another game like this for game three, right? This is only game two. I agree, that song do go hard. Alright, so I think I give the dragon pro blue. And then finally clear this fucking Sahelium. Actually, maybe it's supposed to go face and just try and two shot them here. I kinda don't hate that. Oh, it doesn't work because then the J subtext on the dragon next turn. Alright, whatever. I think I cracked the Lotus for that. I don't get it. Yeah, they might be able to serve in Cryptic Tap, tap Me. And then get me in. I mean, on board this is 9 damage. So I guess Cryptic just kills me, if they have it. Oh, that's true, they snapcasted the Cryptic. You're right, they don't have it anymore. I wonder why Snap's not serving. Legislator and Currency Converter are kind of cool together. No special synergy this turn, but if you got it down before the Shredder, to start churning out two twos. No. They managed to win in uh, a minute. They deserve it. Don't need to board or anything here. I kind of want to like just F6 and see if they can actually like beat me in 50 seconds. I am curious. Is that BM? I feel like it's BM adjacent. I'm not gonna run it. I'll give them 40 seconds of a straight match.
Yeah, Relic probably should have come in. Wasteland probably should have come out. Details. I am the winner! It's saying slow, but... The dragon does find a black source. I think I would send this back on the... On the draw. But on the play, I could see opponents that don't want to see turn three Lauren. Is the bot drunk? The bot is drunk, yeah. We whiffed on the depths combo. Oh yeah, this uh, this track was sampled a lot. A lot of different hip hop songs. You want to lure in the cute clue? We could. I think I prefer Lingering Souls here. We're about popping the clue and then playing some equipment or something later. Oh, interesting, Cody. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I got it all switched up. Vintage Supreme Cube's going to be around for a bit. I like double blocking figure. I like double blocking this 4-1 Menace, too. They both make sense to me. Maybe I should just be tutoring up Parallax Wave, huh? Maybe that was way fucking better. Hey, Azdurain, thanks for the sub, thanks for 45 months. I don't know if I'm supposed to hero or a dragon here. Yeah, bringing the dragon back is way better against that, right? Oh, this is also rough. Yeah, the remand into Fury. That's pretty good for closing that one out, Tom. Um, I think I like Sunfall coming in over Nyssa. And the rest is pretty fine. Oh, shoot up. Hey, DC. Thanks for the sob. Thanks for 83 months. 83 years! A more powerful version. Oh, of uh, Supreme Draft? A oh, wild. I was planning on doing Legacy on Wednesday, but now I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. One of the things about waiting on those Supreme Draft formats is, like, usually people are excited to draft them for a few days, and then the um, the queues fire slower after that. So maybe I'll push Legacy for a few days. Looks like a solid opener, huh? Uh, I don't think Spellbind is great, MJG. Very fragile in combat. If the Night's Whisper helps me put together the... Um, The Zernorb combo, then I just have, like, have infinite life. Really just want to vindicate them there. So badly. <laughs> I think they're holding a remand for me. That's fine. Let them cycle their card. 
Next turn we can bin dragon. Play one of our three drops. Oh, cube's coming back on March 20th. But that's this month. Hell yeah. God, it is good. It is a good time to be a cube specialist. Just missing the Zern Orb, huh? Oops, not that one. Maybe I should have played out Lauren. Get the excavator in hand where it's nice and safe. Yeah, we need the fast bond, said Drew. Fast bond, Zernorb, Ramanov Excavator is the combo to go infinite. Sorry if I misspoke. It'll never happen again, I promise. Pinky promise? No pinkies. No pinkies involved. I don't want to go in for that pinky business. Yeah, I was going to say, broadside not going in. That's all very good for me, I think. Kind of cute way to get um, two black sources out of one scrub land. Not super necessary. Like, I didn't have to flashback Lingering Souls this turn. I could have staffed and Elvish Reclaimer and, and what went. Yeah, I'm not too worried about cards right now, new chum. Not with the clamp here. This isn't the best Sunfall ever. But Bombardier's is a fucked up card. I feel like we have a little bit of breathing room. Has my net improved from a few hours ago? It has, Blunt Lord Acab. It certainly has. Yeah, the stream started out a little rough. Just got stompered by a lot of opponents. My dragon. Oh, that's a bummer. The Wibbloom Command doesn't kill Smuggler's Copter because they can just crew the Copter in response. And it's no longer a legal target. Again, Trapezoid. We've had plenty of cards this game, right? With Clamp and stuff going. 
I've also like used my mana like every single turn. There has literally not been a spot this game where I wanted to make a dragon, in which I could have done so for four mana instead of five. Could kill this Lion Sash in combat. It would take a lot, though. I think I'm just supposed to eat this. Yeah, you're fine, Trapezoid. Certainly a good thing to be thinking about. Less uh, necessary. Um, if you're not going to be having time for Dragon, of course, like I mentioned, but also less necessary if your opponent has exile removal spells, like in white. They haven't shown us a ton of that, but they do have the white color here. And our life total is a little deceptive here, thanks to the Zurin Orb. We could go up to 15 if we really needed to. Sweet. Hmm, yeah. The song is by Simand Official, Kymand, C Y M A N D E is the name of the band. Correct, Deems there. Yeah, if they crewed with Mutabalt, then the Mutabalt's not a viable blocker. Yeah, I talked about Wither Bloom Command potentially getting bricked by them crewing the Mutabalt, the, the, the copter earlier, but they would have removed their one blocker to do that. You also saw the Wither Bloom Command draining them. Pretty good, pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know about this. I don't know. I don't know about this hand. Maybe once upon a time can find me the the two three crucible effect and demonic tutor can go find me fast bond. I don't know what D2 is supposed to grab now. I regretted not grabbing Parallax Wave earlier. I want to do that now. See how that plays out. Poorly. <laughs> it's playing out poorly. Well, maybe I can drop Mox here. Nope. Nope. God, that was like worst case scenario, hum. Well, we can Lingering Souls next turn. That's probably like pseudo foggish enough to buy me time for the P wave. The one mana Chrome Mox, sure.
Hmm. What happens if I double block Bombardiers? I think the bot can also get you a full title sometimes too. Porcelain after the first rank. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. We're gonna let this three even hit me. Uh, two lands, I think, Mike. Because we ended at three. Second, the porcelain's worth five damage. It's a lot of damage. God. They're gonna get all their shit back so quickly. Too many must answers. Maybe I can find that. Um... I can find that sweeper, hum. Oh well, yeah, we fast bond Zurin orb. That's not nothing. There's a sweeper, huh? Hey, good night, DC. Yeah, we're about to give to our opponents a lot of lands. They have a mana tight, but still seems pretty good. I did not get depths and stage together, no. Fuck. Now we're not going to have enough mana to overload wins. I guess I was supposed to chomp, huh? As weird as that is. I fucked up chat, because there's that Thalia coming in, so even ripping a land doesn't do it. Yeah, now we almost need uh, the Excavator. God, we hit the land too. So if I jumped with the Mother of Runes, if I jumped that 3-bit Inspector, I'd have one more land in play and I'd be able to overload this wins game. Wouldn't that be pleasant? Um, we could clamp Mother of Runes and then rip two lands, or we could find Excavator. But it's pretty iffy, hum. You don't need to tell me that I've got a skull clamp in play, Tom. Come on. Come on. Oh, that works, huh? That works. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Arglypuff. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the video in months. This is nice. It doesn't give them five lands, too. Yeah, that's not a good reason. That's not a good reason to backseat Tom. It's against the rules. We, we will, like, time you out and ban you in the future. You have been warned. Hey, Night Sar. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 35 months. <laughs> Much love to you, too, Night Sar. Mm.
It's got to be really frustrating to sit there with your aggressive red deck and your opponent at one life. We'll have a Zerva and Orb in play. Hey, there we go. We can actually draw through our whole deck with this Horizon Canopy. A little bit of life, a little bit of cards, why not? Okay. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Hogwash. Thanks for this resub, the 59 months. Clamp our way through the deck, and L becomes a dub. Caleb Cube streams Shredu Rock, so please enjoy this sob. <laughs> what a fun rhyme, Hog. I think I'm going to save this Horizon Canopy. Go get, like, Godless Shrine or something. Hey, thanks for the biddies, Daggerhawk. Very kind of you. Let's get Courtyard, actually. Oh, but it was real sluggish for that. Continues to be sluggish. <laughs> Yeah, I might need to restart or something, or maybe it's a server thing. Ooh. I think this is getting countered, but that's fine. I think we're I like Reclaimer converting the the wasteland into something else. Fetch to turn the Reclaimer into a three four. Our depthless deck deck is indeed two zero. Skull Clamp's been doing a lot of work. We hit our sweepers on time against our Boris opponent. Got a little lucky. Hmm. Lamp has been doing some heavy lifting. Yeah, I might just need to restart. It's like weird how sluggish it is. And I feel like it's not that bad for my opponent.
<laughs> the surprise three form. I thought there was a chance that um, they were just like blocking because they wanted to soak three. Like you jump there so you get me to crack the fetch and they untap and play your sweeper or whatever. But then there was like a long pause after we cracked our fetch. L Lauren might be sweet here. They have Tar Pit now, but I couldn't activate the Reclaimer and go get Wasteland. Hmm. There's so much that I want to do this turn. I think I want to use this to blow up the Talisman, because it's like blowing up two artifacts. And then I can play Reclaimer. Or I guess I should activate Reclaimer first to make sure the Wither Bloom has something to rebuy. Yeah, it's so slow. I, I, gotta, I gotta restart. I gotta restart. Hopefully it's not a server thing. This actually fixes stuff. First time tutoring the wasteland away, now I'm tutoring it back. Make up your mind, Caleb. Yeah, it feels like it's still acting weird. Your client's also going slow, gotcha. Not just me then. Yeah, next turn we can wasteland them and then Lauren something. Probably the nettle cyst, but we'll see. Hey Turkey Muffin, thanks for 25 months. It has been a nice two years. Cheers, Turkey. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mork. That's brutal. How do I feel about Hearst versus Nettle Cyst here? I think I blow up the hearse. Keeps the reclaimer from getting groovy. Yeah, his opponent's got still got like plenty of mana, even though he blew up a talisman and blew up a, blew up a creeping tar pit. But they do have less, huh? It's certainly less. And the tar pit was real, like, outside of producing mana. We can get the staff down. Yeah, I wonder if it's on their side, too. We're down a couple minutes, but there's been some weird pauses. Your opponent, Eeyore Liberated, has disconnected. Maybe they're trying to do the thing that I did. Quick restart. Star Systems is underrated. Agreed. I listen to them a lot, and I still don't listen to them enough. So brutal. Just like waiting here to draw my card and watching my clock tick down. Maybe I shouldn't be playing spells. Maybe I should just be, should just be attacking every turn. And then next year we can crack Horizon Canopy, and then the Reclaimer will be back to a 
He just aggressive, thinks the sub, thinks the 53 months. Yeah, sounds like it's been a server issue, folks. Nothing we can do. No F3. None of other people are also experiencing it. That means it's a server issue and there's nothing that restarting the computer, the Wi-Fi or whatever we could do. Just take minutes off your clock. Download more RAM. Hadn't thought about that. Hmm. We didn't see a ton out of them. They're like artifacts, but they're also like a control deck. I feel like we didn't see enough spot removal where Mother of Runes is super necessary. I think they're like a Tinker deck. So I like Relic Quarter. I want my stuff to be live. I kind of dig Spellbinder here too. It's like a solid clock and a 3 1. A little bit of disruption. This is turn two dragon. This game's playing out fine. Whose clock's going down? Mine. Awkward. <laughs> okay. I'm worried about F6ing and having it like go through to my turn. Dragon, please. But I said, please. Hey, always playing target. Uh-oh. And the Relic Order next turn can answer that Nettle Cyst so the side doesn't go too crazy with it, maybe. Or maybe I just want to hit a Thopter. We'll see. Hero Blade Hold. Seems like she might be able to close this out, huh? Did I love Dune? Uh, I thought it was aight. <laughs> I think it's probably his second best movie. I thought it was better than, I just thought it was like slightly better than his first one, his first Dune. But um, so far, like, I loved Blade Runner 2049. And I thought both the Dune movies were solid. And I was glad that I saw them both on the, um, the big screen. Hey, how about that? How about that? Nice little trophy to end up the stream. That was a good time to cut out the stream, too. With, this, with the everything being all sluggish. Good, good time to end it. Alright, tomorrow. Vintage Cube. Be there or be square. Wait, no. Be square and be there. Yeah. Yeah. Much love, everybody. Take take care.